Okay, guys. Uh, this week, what we're going to do is we're preparing for that final. Okay, so you know what we have with the block files that we did last week. Does anybody have any questions about those block files? What we did last week. Were y'all able to mess with them a little bit in class? You know, just do off off every now and then, or break break. Um, any of that stuff, dram dram, cram cram, any of that stuff. You know, mess with it a little bit. Um, hopefully you guys did, if you didn't, whatever. But anyway, so what we're gonna do this week is we're gonna do speaker identifications, okay? Now you can use any speaker identifications you want, but you're gonna have to have four, at least four. I'm gonna show you mine. If they work for you, great. If they don't, I don't care. You use whatever you want. Uh, you know, I, I know that uh, some of you guys, you know, learn like, uh, uh, what is it, Jew and Screw and, um, yeah, it's, it's J, J O and S K W R O A O is the speaker identifications. That's what they taught us. It's Jew and Screw are the two speaker identifications. But I didn't like them. I, I knew in my court we were going to have more than one. So um, these are what I came up with that's easiest for me, okay? So it's top bank, top bank, which is S-T, S-T-P-H, F-P-L-T. Top bank is attorney one, okay? S-K-W-R, R-B-G-S, which is bottom bank, is two. And then top, which is STPH, RBGS is three, and then SKWR, FPLT is four. So it's top, bottom, <coughs> top, bottom, bottom, top. And then all of them, STK, PW, HR, F, R, P, B, L, G, T, S is the court. So it's all of them. All of your home keys are the court. Okay? Guys, there's probably literally 100,000 ways that you can write this stroke right here by leaving one letter out every time. So if you know what you were stroking, put it in your dictionary every time. I'm sure you're not going to be as good as me to write it perfect every time, so that's just the way it goes. A little humor. No one laughs, no big deal, we'll move on. Put it in there every time. If you know that you were trying to stroke, what you were trying to stroke, put it in there, okay? And I'm gonna show you how to put them in, okay? So if you're on your machine, whoop. Let me move the camera. <clears throat> Okay, if you're on your machine, do the top bank. If you don't have your machine and you're going to put it in, then this is the way it's going to look. You do control D, which puts it in. So it's going to be S T P H F P L T. Okay, so when you stroke it, it's going to look like that. Okay, then I need you to highlight it. How do, you, how do you global it? G or control G. G or control G. So that's going to bring you right here. All right? Did I do something wrong because all I'm getting is left? If I had to bet, would I would me. say. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> You're fine. It just, you have my, we're going to go through the process of identifying it. But you haven't defined it, so it's just trying to make an educated guess. So we're in the process of learning how to do that. Yeah, it's just it's just reading it as something else. So S T S T P H F P L T. Yeah. And just highlight it. Highlight one. Okay. So how do you highlight it? How do you global it? G. Just G. Yeah. 
Well, you didn't put the T in there. You have to put She's just like this. What are you trying to do now? Okay, guys, sorry about that. I was helping some of the students with some stuff. So we're back here. Hang on, let it come back on. Okay, guys, this is where we are. You hit STPH, FPLT. How do you global it? All right, so you're right here. What you need to do. is go to special entries, open your box,
Press S three times. Should take you to speaker. If it says what? Put your glasses on, Grandpa. Yeah. No, don't worry about it. It's just um. That's three times. Is it on speaker? Yes. Okay. Push enter. Okay, that's where you want to be. Okay. Push enter on speaker. It's going to put you right there. You're going to have an S colon, which is a prompt. Then you want to type in attorney one. So type in attorney one. Yeah. You can do it however you want. I, I do it all caps. You can do it however you want. I do it with the number one, just so it shows that it's that it's attorney number one. Okay, you go to the special entry, select it, and this is what it should look like right here, okay? So I'm not going to go to the special entry because I already have it defined. So what it does, it kind of messes it up whenever I select it or whatever, but no big deal. So this is the way it's going to look, okay? That's how you want it. If you don't have it like that, it's not going to work. So if you have any questions about it, ask me right now before you push enter. It should look exactly like that. So it should have the little bracket right here. S, capital S, with a colon, attorney one, close bracket. Do we write out attorney, like the way it's supposed to be? Spelled? You do it however you want, however you want. Oh, okay. So this is, this is really for you. I mean, and, and I'm, having, I'm having a student ask me, you know, should, should she write out the whole word attorney? Should she write O and E? You do it however you want because this is for you. Okay, so it doesn't really matter. This is the best way that I've found because it's short. ATTY Attorney One, that's it, okay? You want it in your main dictionary, press enter. Got it? Now press top bank again. STPH FPLT. Did it come up? Turning one? Everyone get it?
Okay. Everybody has it? Do it. I said do it again. Do it again. STD. Do it again. Just, oh, you didn't hook it up to the machine? I don't. I left my thing out. Okay. All right. Okay. Everyone has it? Yes. Okay. Great. Okay. Now we're gonna do attorney two. So if you're if you're not on your machine, how do you get how do you get here? Control D. Okay, if you are on your machine, it's S K S K W R R B G S. Okay? S K W R R B G S, which is this, it's the lower bank. It's the home key lower bank. Got it? Yes. Everyone? Yes. Okay. Press enter. Special entries. S three times. Should take you to speaker. Should bring you to the S prompt or the S colon. Type in attorney two. Make sure it's in your main. Press enter. Should put it in there. It's not putting it in mine, guys, because I'm not on real time. Okay? So it's not putting it on the screen because it's not on real time. After we hit the S three times, we put a track two? No. Hit the S three times, hit enter to select speaker. It should bring it to the S prompt. Now type in attorney two. This is going to be on the final, guys, so get to know these speaker identifications very well the next <coughs> week and that week of Thanksgiving before we come back. We're going to go over it that last week. We're going to do like a practice, a practice test run or whatever where we go over all of the stuff that we're going to need for that final. So if you aren't here tonight, you need to be here that week. All right? Okay, got it? Yes. Everyone has it? Yes. Perfect. Okay. Now I need you to type S T P H R B G S. Okay, guys, this is the way that it, it should be without the R. And I can't get it to go without that, without the initial R. Hold on, let me. You go sit in the back. 
<laughs> Funny guy, help me out up here. <clears throat> All right, STPH, RBGS. So top, bottom. Got it? Everyone? Yes. Control E. S three times. Range you to S prompt attorney three. Okay? Put it in your main. All right. Next one. S K W R F P L T. So bottom top. Got it? Control E. I mean, not Control E, I'm sorry, guys. Uh, special entries. Special entries S three times. That's going to be attorney four. Okay? Got it? It's in your main. Put it in there. Okay, now I want you to hit S T K P W H R F R P B L G T S, which is all of them. That's all of your home keys right there. So press it right in the middle. All right? Go OK. Special entries. That's how I put it. The court. This one is not going to change, guys. This one is not going to change. All right? So you really shouldn't use it for any, any other thing but the court. So this one needs to read the court. Okay? Just like that. Got it? Enter, put it in your dictionary, it's there. Good to go? What's that? Do you have SINET30 in there? Yeah, I was like, mine already. Yeah, all caps. All caps on the court. That one is not an option because that's going to be one of your speakers. It should already be in there. It yeah, is. mine already comes up. So do, it says make this change globally. Do I go ahead and say yes? Yeah. So you didn't change yours? Yeah. Yeah, so if it, if it already comes up, guys, so I mean, say you, say you hit it, you're putting it in for the first time. Uh, so say you hit it. Say you hit it just like this, you hit it like this on your machine, it comes up, well you know what, it's already coming up to court. Then you don't have to go through that whole step of special entries, blah blah blah, just hit number one, just like I did. Number one, automatically puts it in there, put it in. You're going to have more than one way of stroking your uh, speaker identifications, guys. So you're gonna have it in there more than once. So if it's a way that you know that you can read it, it doesn't conflict with anything else, put it in your dictionary. If it conflicts with something else, say you accidentally hit, um, I don't even know what you could hit, but um, say you hit S, T, K, P, H, F, P L T S. I mean, I guess, you know, you could, if you can read that, you know, it's going to be closer to the court than it is any speaker. Okay? So I don't know that I would put this one in there, but I mean, you can. If you can read it, you think it's not going to conflict with anything else, put it in there, whatever. It, it you know, whatever. Okay? All right? Okay. I don't know if it's going to come up. Let me see.
Okay. What I need you to do is hit STPH FPLT on your machines if you have it. If you don't have your machines, then what I need you to do is press F2. Got it? And then I need you to type in Attorney 1. Got it? Does it look like this? Everyone should look like this. Does it? No. Huh? Mine doesn't have the semicolon, the on it. It has S in those brackets and then attorney. Because well, mine does until I write a word and then it will convert over. Yeah, it will probably convert over. Okay, let's see. Right. Oh, there it goes. Yes. Yeah. You're right. Okay. Okay. Huh? Get the cheeseburger. Excellent. No, 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 on. Oh, a different menu. I think just like no, a different <laughs> menu on my screen. Oh. That's the one with the speaker identification option. It says the speaker right. lift. Mm -hmm. I came out of HyperKeys and pressed F2 just to see what would happen in case I could do it both ways. Yeah. Like, that's and it. that's what I came up with. That's it. That's it. That's it. And you already have a turning one. Did you put them in there? I put, already I, I put a turning one, two, three, and four, and then four was by itself. See, I came on high, and I pressed one, two, just to see what it was. That's it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's it. How to do it. So I can do it both ways. Yeah, that's it. You don't have to be in high to press that. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. 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 Hey, no, no, that Put it on there. Put your cursor on there and, and highlight it. It won't let me. Put your cursor. Okay, that's my Oh. Okay, do control G. Special entries. Okay. Um, one of the students was asking about going into the F2. You don't have to be in the hyper. You don't have to be in hyper keys or any of that stuff. So don't worry about that. F2 is always going to bring up your speaker list. Okay. All right. So what you want to do right here, when you want to, uh, when you want to define that stroke, come in here with your cursor. Highlight it. How do you global it? G. Control G. I was telling you there's no steno for it. There should be steno for it. So if you're doing real time, there should be steno for it. It's telling me there's no steno, whatever. No big deal. So do control G, which brings it up. Then you want to go to F2 which is your speaker list because you want to put it in your speaker list okay so we want to define it as Mr. Smith okay are y'all with me? Huh? no it's attorney one it's attorney one you're defining attorney one, okay? Is everyone here? Is anyone not right here? Everyone? Do okay. Type, do we type Mr. Smith at point two? No, you just type in Mr. Smith. It's going to put it where it needs to put it. You just put in Mr. Smith. It's going to put it in the next blank line. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. I'm sorry? Oh, since I defined all four already, it wants to put it in spot six. As well. yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter on the list where it is. Has, it, it doesn't matter. That, none of that matters. Okay? 
So the way that it looks right here, don't worry about this. You worry about this. Okay. It's going to be up here in the prompt. Okay? You type in Mr. Smith. Press enter. And it should bring you back. It should have put Mr. Smith into the, uh, yes, into the global little thing. Do not press enter. Do not. Um, okay. Um, <laughs> hmm? I already said to press enter. No? For the speaker I list. Did. And then I did. I said do not. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Is it bringing it up? Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. Highlight it. Highlight the turning one. Can you control G? Yeah. I was having trouble holding, that's why I did it the other way. Okay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> F2. That's a pretty thing. There. F2. F2. Yeah. There it is. Put Mr. Smith. Oh, okay. Okay. Or push button. You already have it in. Push button. That's what I have. So Mr. Smith is in there. Oh, okay. Okay. So now what you want to do is now that you're at the F prompt, is that it? you have it? Go up to the first yeah. attorney one. This one? Yeah. Control G. F2. Number six. Press six. Yeah. Enter. Puts it in there. Okay, guys, now you're in this spot right here. What I need you to do is press Control J. as one of your speaker identifications, okay? You always want to put it in a job dictionary. So the job dictionary is going to come up. So that was the control J? Control J tells it to put it in the job dictionary. Or you can drop the little box down and it says whether it wants to put it in your main, job, trash, whatever. You want to put it in a job dictionary because that's the only job you want it for. So the one that says job? It, yeah, says so control J, it should be control J. It says job, dict, save and load from. Hmm? Under the speaker list? No, not there. No? Get out of there. Hmm? You already have it as Mr. Smith. Mm -hmm. How did you define it? Okay, push uh, F9.
Okay, guys, we're gonna do it one more time. All right. So when you put in your job, you hit OK. So put it in your job. So put it in, in Control J. Make sure that it's in Control J. Right. Make sure that it's in a job dictionary. So what what you need it to be as is. Uh, So when you bring down this box, it tells you right here, guys, it's going to go in your main dictionary. But if for some reason it has like job dictionary right here, control M puts it in your in your main dictionary. OK, so if you bring this thing down, control J puts it into a job dictionary. Control T is a trash. Control L is a local replace and then a browse. You don't need any of that stuff. Really all you need is in the main or the job. Okay? You're in the back. Um, when, when I press Control J, it came up, do you want to make this change globally? Yes. Because I did Control J, it's going to take, change it globally within the job. It's going to change it from there down is what it's going to do in the job. Okay. So global means it's going to change it from there down. So it's asking you, do you want to change it from there down, or do you just want to change that one? So if you say no, then it's only going to change that one. Okay? okay? So when it comes up, do you want to do it uh, globally? Yes, you do. Okay? All right. So we're going to do the next one. Do SK, do speaker 2. I'm not even going to tell you what it is anymore. Do speaker 2. Got it? Should be the bottom bank. All right? You're right here. It should come up. As attorney two. All right? Got it? Yes. No. All right. Okay. So you have it there. What you need to do is global it. F2, which is your speaker list. You want to put your prompt on it first. Okay, so you should be on it already. It should be blinking.